Hey guys, this is Sam from Minimal Desk Setups. Today we'll be going through how to customize your desktop with Raymeter. So let's take a look. All right guys, so this is what we're looking to do. We have the rain meter widgets in the corner, the icon centered in the taskbar, and also just a really nice wallpaper going. So there's actually three stages to this. We're gonna be dropping in the wallpaper, and then we're gonna be centering the icons, and then we're gonna be installing all the rain meter widgets. So let's go step by step. Here we also have another configuration. This is using the rain meter skin called Mond. I'll also show you how you guys can use this skin as well. So don't worry. For the purpose of this recording, I've just reset everything back to default. Okay, so first we want to center the icons. And to do that, you actually have to just right click on the taskbar and you have to add an extra section called the link section. So you see, you never actually use this link section ever. So after you have the link section activated, you just make sure that your taskbar is not locked and you can then drag around the icons like this, right? So what you wanna do is you wanna drag all of the icons so that it takes over the link section and the link section is pushed to the left. And then you wanna center your icons just like that. And then you wanna open up the menu and make sure that show text is unchecked and show title is unchecked. And that way you won't be able to see the links. And then from then just lock the taskbar and then it will automatically center and make sure all of these other options are also off for the cleanest look. And we should be able to go from there onto the next step. So I have the taskbar here in a dark color. So to change that, all you have to do is open up the task settings by right clicking on the taskbar. And then once you're in, make sure you go to colors and then in the choose your theme color, make sure it's dark is checked. And that way everything will be dark and including the taskbar itself. Okay, so once that's ready, we can kind of go on to prepare the actual wallpaper. And yeah, you do actually need to prepare the wallpaper and I'll show you how, don't worry. So we'll be sourcing all of our wallpaper from Unsplashed and I believe it's probably one of the best places to find really HD quality wallpapers and that's actually what you're gonna need. So the screen that you actually see here is actually a 1440p monitor. It's highly likely that you guys might have a 1080p monitor which is like 1920 by 1080. Either way, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna show you how to actually crop these wallpapers and get it down to the size that you need it to be. I have a bunch of ocean wallpapers here and this was the wallpaper that I used for the actual demo. So I'm I'm gonna just download this one again. I actually have to click in and then make sure you download the original size. Can you see the original size has all the pixels and you actually need to have all of them and then crop it down to the size that you need. So we're gonna download this and then bring that onto our desktop. And then from here, you can actually use some of the default tools to crop it. So all you gotta do is just open the actual image and then hit this crop button and then you can actually select a size you want it to be. We actually need it to be 16 by nine, which is basically a white, normal widescreen kind of setup. So at 16 by nine, then make sure you have a bit of the dark bits so then we can actually put the widget in that area. And after that, all you gotta do is just save a copy. And you can see here, I have a cropped version of the wallpaper, not in its full resolution. And you can see now with the full resolution, everything should look really sharp once you set it as the desktop background. There we go. And then after that, you'll be ready to start installing Rainmeter and get the widgets going. Okay, to get started on the next step, first we need to install Rainmeter. So I've provided a zip with all the files included in it on our blog post. So if you go to the description section of this video, you should be able to find a link that goes to the blog. And then the first item on the blog should be a link to download this folder that we have here, which is called MDS Custom Desktops. And it just basically has all the skins and configuration files all in one place. So we're gonna start with installing the actual Rain Meter program. Okay, and once this is done, let it run and you'll see that it will have all the default skins loaded. You can just right click and unload all of these because that's these are not the things that you need. And once you have unloaded everything, go back into the actual Rain Meter skin folder and then install the Android clock skin as well as the Lano Visualizer skin. Let's give that a second. Okay, once that's installed, hit the setup button here. And then you're gonna to need to do a couple of things. First, we're just gonna close the configurations for Lano Visualizer for now by hitting this close button. So we're gonna start by configuring the Android clock. So drag this down here and then make sure you, when you go into the settings by right clicking on it. Make sure the big clock size is enabled. And after that, you can just hit edit skin. Uh, and then once you're in, uh, you can go into the configuration files and I've attached three different types. So one is having the text centered, one's having the text to the left aligned and one's having the text right aligned. So I think for this one, I'm, I'm gonna need the text to be left aligned. So I'm gonna go into the left aligned option and just copy all of the 
items here and then just drop it in to the actual configuration file and then hit save. And after, once that's saved, I just hit refresh and then it should load a bigger setting with all of the items there. So you gotta notice that you won't be able to drag it along very much places and it just gets stuck at the bottom. So to fix that, all you're gonna do is just right click and then go into manage skin and then make sure that you have click keep on screen disabled and then you should be able to drag it anywhere you want. So you're gonna notice we currently have no weather configured so we're gonna to need to set that up now. So to do that, all you gotta do is just right click and then edit skin and then it'll bring up all of the configurations for this skin again. Uh, we're gonna to need to set the latitude, the longitude and the API key. So first we'll go to weather bit to get the API key. So open your browser, here we are at Weatherbit. You'll need to sign up for an account, but once you have this account, you'll need to verify it. And after you verified and logged in, you should see a screen like this. So from this screen, all you do is just copy your API key and then drop it in to the actual API key section like this. And then we're gonna to need to find the latitude and the longitude of the place where you live. So once you have Google Maps open, they actually make it quite easy. All you gotta do is just right click on anywhere, right? And then it'll actually give you the coordinates and all you have to do is just click the coordinates and it just copies to your clipboard. And then once you come back, you just paste it. And then you're gonna notice that there's actually two numbers. So you're gonna need to move the longitude section down here and make sure there's no comma here and then just save that. Okay, once it's saved, go back to the clock and just refresh the skin by clicking on it. If I can get it and just refresh and everything should load just like this. All right, and it will just tell the temperature of the place and what it is over there. So now that we have the clock set up, we need to now set up Lano Visualizer. Uh, usually this part here uh, tells you the song titles and stuff, but I don't really like that because it's not very accurate and sometimes it doesn't find the right names. So I just have this disabled and to disable it, all you gotta do is just right click on it and then just unload it. And now we need to scale this bar so that it fits within the parameters of the actual um, clock itself. So to do that, all you gotta do is just right click and then go to Lino Visualizer and then go to settings and then open up general, right? And then within general, you need to scale the actual bar width. So I'm gonna scale that a little bit and then change the gap so that it's smaller. And then I need to continually reduce this until it kind of fits. So I think it's around eight pixels. And in the media player itself, you need to set the scale of it. So I think by reducing scale a little bit, I can get it to fit perfectly around 0.71, I guess. Uh, you guys can just play around with these settings until it looks perfect on your desktop. Just note that my computer currently, this monitor here is 1440p. So if you have a 1080p monitor, things will look much bigger, okay? Uh, and if it's too big for you guys and you guys do need to change the actual size and font size of all of this, it's very easy to do. I'll just show you that really quickly. So first you just right click and then you go into settings of the actual clock itself by editing the skin here. And then you can see that when you go scroll down, there's three different sections. There's the clock section and the weather section. So you can actually change out the font size here to a much smaller font size. Uh, to whatever you want and also you can reposition them by changing the x and y coordinates here So it's completely up to you guys to how big and small you guys want the actual clock to be But that's effectively how you do it Okay, and then the final part would be showing you guys the other skin that I prepared which is called the Mon skin This one's really popular and a lot of the tech youtubers sometimes use it to show off their desktop So I'm going to show you how you do it first You just go back and install the actual Mon skin itself. Let's load that in and once it loads in, it wants you to enter a weather code of where you guys live. And to find the weather code, all you got to do is just Google it. So I won't go into detail for that. And then you can set whether you want a 24 hour clock or 12 hour clock or Celsius or Fahrenheit. Since we're in Australia, I want a 12 hour clock and I want it in Celsius. And I'm just going to close the settings. And you can see that um, it's pretty much all there. I don't like the player, so I'm just going to unload it like this. And there's a random bin here too. I don't like that either, so I'm just gonna unload that as well. And you pretty much just get this. I don't actually like the font that they use. So if I wanted to change that out, I'm gonna to need to edit the settings, right? And down here, if you go down, you'll get the ability to change the actual font that's used for the meter day, right? And in font face, I'm gonna use another font called Montserrat. 
which in my opinion looks better and a bit more clean. After that's changed, I just refresh it and then it looks like that, right? And if you guys don't have the font file for Monsera, it's actually in the configurations and if you go to Mon, you can actually find the actual font file here to which you can just double click and it will just install it, right? It's quite easy. So now that you're done, you might decide that you don't actually want a side centered element and you actually want the element to be completely centered like this. And to kind of get that to look clean, you really need a wallpaper that kind of suits. So I'm gonna quickly go back into Unsplash and go to another one of our collection called Center Element Wallpapers, the center element better. And I'm gonna choose this one and I'm, I'm gonna quickly set it up and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, now that I have this wallpaper downloaded, I'm just gonna make that my desktop background and I'm just gonna drag the element there. And you can see how clean that actually looks once you have everything configured and it really, really stands out depending on what sort of wallpaper you have. And that's why we've kind of just divided our collections into all the separate ones that we have on Unsplash. Uh, we have the side center element ones and the center center element ones. All right guys, I hope that helped you guys out. If you have any questions, just leave in the comment section down below. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. We have a lot of Death Center content coming up, so stay tuned.